here's my one-on-one with the sequel. Mm. Brendan Sander, junior outside hitter, joining us on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. First and foremost, Brendan, congratulations on the victory last night. What an impressive win for you guys. Thank you. Thanks. It was a great match for us. Well, not only was it a great victory overall for the team, but it was a fantastic match for you personally. You tied a season high with 15 kills. Also, by the way, hit 619. What was working so well for you last night? Um, I honestly, I think our whole team was in the zone and that kind of just put me in the zone a little more and, um, it built up our confidence between all our passers and our setter and our middles and our opposite. And so everyone playing free allowed me to play really free and just ultimately play my game that I know I can play. You know, Brendan, it's not very often that there's a turning point in the game that happens just within the first few minutes of set number one, but that really was the case last night. You guys trailed four to one in set one, and then things changed. What happened at that point that really propelled you guys to completely take over from that point? Um, I think that we just settled in in the match, and we got the nerves out in the first few points, and then we just settled in, and we said, hey, let's go, we're going to we got a battle to beat these guys. We can't just roll through them. So we decided, hey, we're going to battle as hard as we can and do everything we can to beat them. And then we ultimately just played as a team together and ended up getting the victory. You guys get to face Ohio State again in the national championship game tomorrow. How motivating is it that you get another crack at them? Oh, it's very motivating, especially because um, it's on their home floor. So... Hopefully we can get some revenge from last year and beat them on their home court. You know, that is an interesting dynamic to this. Not only do you get to take on the the number one team, but it is on their home floor. What degree of difficulty does that add to the equation? Uh, They're going to have a lot of fans. Last night when they played Hawaii, they had around 5,000 fans. And, I mean, tomorrow night I'm guessing they're going to have around the same or or even more. So, it's going to be hard, but we're used to playing in front of big crowds thanks to BYU and their awesome fan base. So we love the big crowds, and it just provides us with more energy to go out and play as hard as we can. You know, that's what I was going to ask you. I mean, BYU, we obviously know regardless of the sport, regardless of where it's played, Cougar fans are going to show up. Uh, what type of atmosphere was that like last night with the Cougar fans in attendance, and what do you expect from BYU fans tomorrow? Um, I expect – quite a few people to be here. I mean, we have a pretty wide support base throughout the world pretty much. And so people know us and they like coming to watch us and we love them coming to watch us and support us. So um, I think Ohio State's going to have a ton of people and I think we're going to have a pretty good fan base and it's just going to be a a great showdown between us and Ohio State and it's going to be fun volleyball to watch. Brendan, how do you think that this year's BYU team is better prepared for the Buckeyes in the national championship game prepared to last year's team? Um, I think that we're just more focused and more willing to go get it because, I mean, it's Jake Langlois' last year. He's very hungry to get a national championship under his belt. And um, Tim Dauber is doing great stuff for us on the right side and getting a lot of touches. And um, Leo is throwing the ball as a setter very comfortably right now. And that's giving us as hitters a lot of confidence to go up and kill the ball and with a lot of range throughout the court. And so I think if we play as a team together and support each other in everything that we do, then we will hopefully come out with that victory and have the national championship. You know, taking it maybe one step further, what what have you guys as players and, you know, what what is Coach Olmstead and the rest of the coaches, what have you guys talked about in those certain key things that you guys feel you'll need to do in order to beat Ohio State and win that title tomorrow? Um, ultimately, we're going to have to attack the ball well. That's what we always have to do to win. And we're going to have to serve and pass better than we ever have before. They have some great servers on their team that can bomb serves very hard. And so if we can handle them and just get a decent pass on them and have our pin hitters go out and take well-executed swings, then I think we'll be in a good position because we can also serve the ball pretty hard. 
Brendan, great stuff. It was fun watching last night. We can't wait for tomorrow. We got to give you the BYU Sports Nation karma. It is alive and well. We'll give it I to you that. all the way out there in, uh, in Columbus for the game tomorrow. I know all of BYU Sports Nation will be watching. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, guys. All right, there we go. Brendan Sander on the Desert First Credit Union Hotline. Desert First, your values, your timeline, your financial future.